Mars doesn't have continents surrounded by oceans like Earth, but it does have continent-sized brighter and darker terrains. These variations in albedo, or reflectivity, are due to variations in surface dust. The darker terrains have less dust cover thanks in part to dust devils acting like giant vacuum cleaners. Cirrus Major is one of the largest and darkest albedo features. It's actually a huge volcano. Jezero Crater is located at the edge of this feature. This past week, Perseverance caught at least eight dust devils in action in a single dust devil movie. This one has 21 wide-angle frames shot about every 14 seconds. They're fairly low resolution to save data bits, but zooming in helps reveal the dust devils. The first one is a few hundred meters or yards away, just on the other side of sand dunes in the terrain named Sita. You can see the shadow cast by the dust devil crossing these dunes. A bit further out is dust devil number two, and watch for dust devil number one, which took a sharp turn departing Sita and nearly crossed paths with number two. Dust Devil number 3 and a barely visible number 4 are much farther away. They're about 6 kilometers or about 4 miles away from Perseverance. Number 5 and 6 are the furthest away, starting at nearly 9 kilometers or about 5.5 miles and heading out toward the rim of Jezero Crater. Dust Devil number seven is an impressive climber ascending a couple of hundred meters to cross over a hilltop. Back on the nearby plains, Dust Devil number eight looks like the speediest, but that's mostly an illusion from how close it is. The most recent Dust Devil movies are just three frames long, but one of them caught a wide, disorganized Dust Devil in nearly the same place as number one. It also cast a shadow that you can see, but because it was later in the day, the shadow doesn't cross the dunes. There's also a faint Dust Devil just beyond the shadow. The nav cam panned right as pre-planned and just happened to catch the same dust devil passing in front of the ancient delta remnant named Kodiak. It looks like it had grown taller and more organized by this time. The final dust devil action is in a three-frame movie from a few weeks ago, but it's not a dust devil. Instead, this dust appears to have been lifted by a gust of wind. Introducing Mars Guy gives a sense of scale. Even though it looks impressive, a, a real astronaut would barely feel this puff of thin Martian atmosphere.